Okay, getting my screen set up. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's me. It's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class. Yeah. Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a okay. Lolly says yes. Yeah. Hello, Lolly. Thank you so much. The green team, you are here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Fabricio, how are you doing? I see Fabricio. Of course, I see Lolly. I see Tomas. Hello, Tomas. Good, good to see you. And Esther's here. Hello, Esther. Kayleen. Hello, Kayleen. All right, all right, all right. Ale, hello, everyone. <laughs> okay. Um, La, uh, Jean Philip. Hello. All right, all right, all right. Kori, how you doing? All right, all right. Sarah, hello. Air Lady, hello. Thank you, thank you, Air Lady. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Um, well, before we do anything, we always have a toast for good luck. So let's have our toast for good luck. All right. So please pick up your beverage. Whatever you have, I'm drinking coffee, yes. So pick up your beverage for our toast. We will have two toasts, yes. One toast will be for the members, yes, the supporters of the channel. And the other toast will be for you, all right? Because without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's do our first toast, and that is to the members, the green team, you see them, their names are in green. For example, there's Tetsuro, how are you doing? Air ladies here, Tomas, Lolly, Fabricio. So their names are in green and they're supporters. So we have to give them a big thank you. <coughs> so green team, cheers and thank you. Yay. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump. Bump, cheers, bump, cheers, yes. And because we had a toast, Let's have a drink. Here we go. Bottoms up. Mm. Ah. Now for our second toast. Yes, it's for you. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. That's right. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast a fun, interesting, informative, and productive lesson today. Cheers, bump, cheers, bump. And because we had a toast, Let's have a drink. Bottoms up. Mm. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, everybody. All right, Sharif. Hello, Elson. Hello, hello. Tess Faye. Hello. Okay, great. Oh, great Michigan from Korea. <laughs> okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, let's talk about today's lesson plan, shall we? Marion's here. Hello, Marion. How are you doing? Well, we are going to be here for two hours, everyone. Two hours. And I hope you are ready to practice your English with me. And of course, with the chat. In the chat, there are lots and lots of examples, great sentences in the chat. So lots of learning happens in the chat. So um, let's keep that moving. Yeah. So let's talk about today's lesson plan. Here it is right here, written down on this sheet of paper. We are going to do five activities today. We're going to do form a sentence. That's a review we did on Tuesday. We are going to do which one is different. Our third activity will be problem solution. Our fourth, <coughs> sorry, our fourth activity will be from my book, A Conversation, and our fifth activity will be the green team, the members' dictation cards, their sentences. We will, we will practice their sentences today. All right, so we always have, we're always busy. We always have a fun time. So let's get right into it, shall we? Yes? Okay, let's get right into it. Paulo, Ricardo, hello. All right, all right. So more and more people are coming in to the chat. So fantastic, fantastic. Um, 
Hello, Sam. Sam. <laughs> a lot of your names is difficult. Is difficult for me to pronounce, so I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, Seiru is in the house. Mwah, Seiru, hello, hello. Thank you so much, Seiru. Thank you so much. Okay. So we have a few people from Korea here. All right, all right. So very, very happy to see everyone. So let's get right into it. Which? No, 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 no. Form a sentence. That's our first activity. Number one, form a sentence. This is a review from Tuesday. Form a sentence, which is basically make a sentence, right? So I'm going to show you four cards. From those four cards, you're going to make a sentence using the pattern, using the pattern. So I have space for four cards. And of course, I need magnets for those four cards. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to get four magnets. All right, one, two, three, four. Okay, here we go. One magnet, two magnets, three magnets, and four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it, shall we? Here we go. And I'm going to show you a picture, and that's going to give you a hint of what the words will be. Okay, here we go. Our card, our first card. Hey, Jocko, how you doing? Jocko's here. Good, good, good. Tetsuro is here. Great, great, great. Okay. What is the... Yeah, good, 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 good. Meat. Yes. Good. So our first word, our first part of our sentence, our pattern is meat. <clears throat> so we're going to, whoa, so we're going to, I'm going to write meat because that's going to start our pattern. Meat. Now we're going to have a second card. What is the second card? Hey Samuel, how you doing? Sylvia, how you doing? Okay, and here's our second card. Dang is in the house. Okay, everyone's coming in. That's great. Okay, what word is this? Good, Lolly? Yes, 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 yes. Good, Helga. How you doing, Helga? Mwah, good to see Helga. <clears throat> okay, yeah, m me, 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 me. So, meet me. Meet me. So we're, we're forming our sentence. Meet me. Okay, now we got our third card now. Here we go. Here's card number three. What does this represent? I'm giving you hints here. What does this represent? So we're going to, yeah, Helga, sit right there. Yep. Good, good, good. All right, everyone. Yep. Good. Say we Lolly, Tomas. Okay, Fabricio. Yeah, Error Lady. Everyone's got it. At. So meet me at. Okay, now for our last card to finish the pattern here. Okay, what does this picture represent? What does this picture represent? We are reviewing. Yep, Helga. Yes, Lolly. Yeah, Ford. Good, good. Location, place. Same meaning. That it, it means the same. Location, place, same. Okay, good. So Meet me at and then a place, right? Or location. So meet me at the train station. Meet me at the coffee shop, right? So now I want to see your sentences in the chat, okay? So here is the pattern. Please make your sentence. All right, here we go. This is where we're going to get lots of examples. We're going to see many sentences using this sentence, or this pattern, I'm sorry. So we're going to see many sentences 
using this pattern. So um, we will get lots of examples and that's the best way to learn, right? Learn from examples. So let's see your sentences. Yes, okay, here we go. So now we're moving, yep. So Helga says, meet me at the art gallery. Okay, Lolly says, meet me at the supermarket at midnight. Okay, good, good, good. See, we're getting lots of examples here. Okay, let's get some more, let's get some more. Umesh is in the house, all right, Umesh. Okay, Air Lady says, meet me at the school. Okay, good, good. Tetsuro, or, or Ford says, meet me at the cafe, Tetsuro. Meet me at the station. Hello, everyone. Meet me at Starbucks. Jaco, meet me at the station. Fabricio, meet me at our place. Ford says, meet me at school. Dang says, meet me at the meeting. Marion says, meet me at the flower shop. Sehu says, meet me at the pub. Fabricio, meet me at the pool. Oh, oh. Fabricio's in Brazil, so it's warm where Fabricio is. <laughs> uh, people in Japan are not going to the pool. At least outside pool. Maybe, you know, inside pool's okay, but not outdoor pool. Umesh, meet me at the park. Tomas, meet me at the doctor. Samuel, meet me at the... Uh, Losari Beach this evening. I'm not sure where that is. <laughs> Fabricio says, meet me at the supermarket. Ford, meet me at a university. Well, a university, we want, okay, so this is interesting. Okay, so I'm glad I saw ah uh, because we, we are talking about the same place, right? So meet me at if, okay, if it's a proper noun, right? So if it's a name of a restaurant, so for example, Starbucks. Meet me at Starbucks. We don't need a uh, or the, right? So, but park, right? It's just, it's just a park, right? And so we need a uh, or the. Now, if you said meet me at a park, like which one, right? I'm confused, right? Which park are you talking about? But if you say meet me at the park, when you say the, that means we both share the same knowledge. We, we both understand the location, the place, right? So meet me at the library. Oh, I know which library you're talking about. Meet me at the coffee shop. Okay, I know which place you're talking about. So, but if you say meet me at, or no, meet me at a, then I'm, I'm going to be confused because I don't know which one. So for this situation, we need the, or if it's a um, proper noun, meet me at Starbucks, meet me at my home, okay? So, but if it's a general place, we need the, okay? So I'm glad, a lot of times we, we learn from um, examples and mistakes, right? And so um, someone wrote, meet me at a, uh, and it's like, okay, that's a good time to talk about this. So um, we learn from our examples here. We learn from our sentences. Okay, meet me at school, Umesh, or uh, Umesh says, um, meet me at home, good. Sanji, meet me at the park, meet me at a small bank. Now, so Ford, like, I don't know, I don't know where you're talking about because you said, meet me at a small bank. I don't know which one. Okay, say we meet me at the laundromat. Tomas, meet me at the ATM. Oh, good. Tomas, you're gonna get me some money. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Uh, Umesh says, meet me at the garden. Meet <laughs> Tomas in the United States. Okay, let's go, Tomas. Ford, meet me at meet me at the play game or the game room. How about that, Ford? Meet me at the game room or game center, perhaps? Meet me at the game center. Meet me at the office. Which state? California. Meet so Tomas, meet me in Los Angeles, please. 
but I'm not in Los Angeles, so you have to come to Japan. So I'm in Japan right now. So um, meet me in Japan, okay, Tomas? I'll come in. Meet me at the airport, and I will pick you up at the airport, okay? So Tomas, meet me at the airport so I can come and get you. Okay, good, everyone. Okay, yeah, I, everyone's done really well and lots of examples, so I think this is a good time to um, change your activity, okay? So I don't think anyone has any problem with this, right? So I'm just going to write a sentence here. Um, meet me. So this is for Tomas. Meet me at the airport. Okay, so meet me at the airport so I can come and get you. So I can come and get you. Okay, so I'm going to, so Tomas is going to arrive at the airport and I will go to the airport to get Tomas and bring him to my place. Okay, so Tomas is going to come and meet me here in Japan. Uh, in California, the weather is better right now. Yeah, here in Japan, we're having great weather too, Tomas. So right now, it, it's very sunny and um, it's a nice day today. A little cool, but it's, it's nice. It's perfect. Okay, Tomas says, okay. So um, I will go and get Tomas at the airport. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. All right, so let's do our second activity. And that will be, which one is different? Okay, so which one is different? So our second activity, which one is different? Which one is different? Okay, so I'm going to show you four things, and you're going to tell me of the four, which one is different. So I always give this example. For example, <clears throat> red, blue, bicycle, pink. Red, blue, bicycle, pink. Red, blue, bicycle, pink. Which one is different? Yes, bicycle, because it's transportation where the others are colors. So bicycle is different. So that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> and of course, you're going to tell me the reason why. So which one is different and why? Which one is different and why? And so I want your pattern to be, I think, mm, because. So this is going to be your pattern. I think, okay, so for example, I think bicycle because, and then you're going to tell me why, okay? So for example, in our, um, in the example one more time, which one is different? Red, white, bicycle, pink, red, white, bicycle, pink. I think, I think bicycle because it's transportation, right? Okay, here we go. Which one is different? Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. An astronaut, a security guard, a police officer, and a soldier. Which one is different and why? <clears throat> one more time. An astronaut, a security guard, a police officer, and a soldier. Which one is different and why? So here's your pattern. I think mm, because mm. So which one is different? <clears throat> an, an astronaut, a security guard, a police officer, and a soldier. Which one is different and why? Okay, Helga's on the board. Helga says an astronaut has... Okay, okay, and, okay Helga, an astronaut because 
they do not have weapons. Okay, Helga? Because, uh, an astronaut because they do not have weapons. Air Lady says, the astronaut because they go to the, they go in space. Okay, good Air Lady. Um, I think an astronaut because they go into space. Okay, Air Lady. I think an astronaut because they go into space. Lolly says, I think an astronaut because um, they don't wear guns, okay? Because they don't wear guns. Umesh, an astronaut because um, they need special skills. Good, Umesh says, an astronaut because they need special skills. Tomas, uh, an astronaut because he or she works out, out of the planet or off, actually, off planet Earth. Okay, good. So, Tomas, an astronaut because he or she works off the planet Earth. So, they, they, they work off. So, they, they don't. So, Lolly, I think an astronaut because they don't wear a gun. So, they don't. So, we're, we're talking about, okay, um, an astronaut because, so there can be, you know, there's, there's more than one astronaut, right? So an astronaut is a type of job and they, they don't, you know, they work in space, they have special skills, they don't wear guns, okay? Yeah, good lolly, yeah, because they don't wear guns. Good, 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 good. Air lady, I think... Um, the astronauts because they go in space. Good, good. All right, Tetsuo, I think an astronaut because he or she works in space. Good. Yeah, it's off. That's right. So they work off of planet Earth. Seiwu says, I think an astronaut because they need a lot of nu nutrients. Good. They need a lot of nutrients. All right. Umesh, an astronaut because they experience weightlessness. Good. An astronaut because they experience weightlessness. Very good. Everyone, I see lots of, I see lots of astronauts. Okay. Kayleen says, um, I think an astronaut because he or she works in space. Good. Fabricio, I think um, an astronaut because they work without gravity. Very good. Helga, a policeman because he or she helps People. Very good, Helga. Marion says, um, an astronaut because they work in space. Good, good. Okay, I'm going to show you the pictures now. Okay, I'm going to show you the pictures. Here we go. Okay, so we have an astronaut, a security guard, a police officer, and a soldier. One more time, an astronaut, a security guard, a police officer, and a soldier. Okay, which one doesn't belong? Which one is different? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, so they wear a space suit. That's right, Lolly. So Lolly says, I think an astronaut because he or she doesn't wear a uniform. That's right. They wear a um, space suit, right? So, so um, a security guard wears a uniform. A police officer use, wears a uniform. A soldier, yeah, they wear uniforms. For, yeah, they, they wear uniforms. But an astronaut wears a space suit, yeah. Good, good, good. All right. Let's see. Tomas says, uh, a police officer because he or she can arrest someone. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Umesh says, a police officer because they maintain law and order. That's right, Umesh. I think a police officer because 
they maintain law and order. Dang says an astronaut, an astronaut because they're trained for a long time. Yes, lots of training for, a, for an astronaut, for sure. Umesh, I think a soldier because they are stationed at the border. Good. Lots of answers. Lots of answers. That's right. There is no wrong answer. There is no wrong answer. Fabricio says, I think the security guard because they have patience with the drunks in the nightclubs. <laughs> Very good. See, it's just your imagination. There are no wrong answers. Look at everyone's answers. Many, many answers. I love it. I love seeing all the different answers because that means you guys are thinking about these four jobs and um, you're explaining yourself in English and that's what it's all about. That's Express yourself in English, right? Express your, your feelings, express your ideas in English and that's what that's what it's about. That's communication, right? Communication is expressing your ideas, your thoughts to other people. And that's what you're doing um, here. You're, you're expressing your ideas about these four jobs in the chat. And so that you are communicating in the chat and that's great, great, great. Samuel, a security guard, because he or she must work alone in their place. Okay, yeah, they're stationed in their place. That's right. It could be a, a, like a, a little guard shack or security shack. It could be at a nightclub. It could be at a concert, but they're stationed at their place and they're there to, to, keep, um, to keep things in control. Okay, good. Helga says a security guard because there is some romantic romance in this job. Security guard has romance? Okay. <laughs> There's no wrong answer. It's expressing your ideas for sure. Helga, a security guard because there is some, oh, I read that. Kayleen, I think a soldier because he or she travels, travels um, around the world for their work. Okay, Kayleen, I think a soldier because he or she travels around the world for their work. Lolly says, a police officer represents law. Good, good. Marion, an astronaut because he or she has a special suit. Yeah, a space suit. They wear a space suit. Helga says, a soldier because it is a very dangerous occupation. <laughs> That's for sure. Umesh, a Police and security guard have whistles. Yeah. Woo -hoo, stop. Doot, doot, stop. <laughs> All right. Sebu says, I think security guard because you can hire them personally. Yeah. You can't hire an astronaut personally. No. Nope. You can't hire a police officer personally. No, you can't. You can't hire a soldier personally. No, you can't but you can with a security guard. Very good, Sewu. See, you guys are thinking all kinds of, you have all kinds of great ideas. It's fantastic. Fabricio, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, what's that movie called, um, Fabricio? My Bodyguard, that's it, right? My Bodyguard, or The Bodyguard? I forgot, that was, um, Whitney Houston and her bodyguard was um, not Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford? Maybe Harrison Ford. Perhaps. That's an old movie. Okay. Jocko says the astronaut is not holding a gun. Yes. So Jocko, you say um, an astronaut does not hold a gun. An astronaut does not hold a gun. That's right. Okay, Tomas knows. It's not, it's not Harrison Ford. It is Kevin Costner. That's right, Kevin Costner. <laughs> the bodyguard or my bodyguard, I, I forget. But um, 
Yeah, I saw that movie. <laughs> okay, good, everyone. Let's do our second one, shall we? Yeah, Kevin Costner. What's happening with Kevin Costner these days? I don't know what's happening with him. He's been kind of, he hasn't been around publicly lately. I don't know. Maybe he has. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Number two, number two. Which one is different? One more set. Let's count down for the next set of four. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. A fence, a hammer, lumber, and a tape measure. Here we go. One more time. <clears throat> a fence, a hammer, lumber, a tape measure. Which one doesn't belong and why? Jocko, the astronaut doesn't hold a gun. Okay, Jocko, an astronaut doesn't hold a gun. An astronaut doesn't hold a gun. Okay, here we go one more time. <clears throat> a fence. A hammer, lumber, a tape measure. Which one doesn't belong and why? Okay, Helga, very good. Helga says, a tape measure because it is flexible. Okay, Umesh asks, what is lumber? Okay, I'm going to show you the picture here in a minute. Lolly says, a tape measure because it's always long. Okay, good. Hello, Deco. Okay, Tomas says, tape measure because it is the longest one. Okay, I'm going to show you the pictures now. Here we go. Here are the pictures. We have a fence, a hammer, a hammer, lumber, a tape measure. Lumber is wood. Okay, so lumber is cut wood, right? So we have a tree. So Umesh asks, what is lumber? So we have a tree, right? You cut the tree, and then you cut the tree into lumber. Cut the tree into lumber. Now with the lumber, you can build something, right? So lumber is wood. Right, and so it's ready, it's, it's ready to be built. So perhaps you could build a house with lumber, you can build a fence with lumber, you can build um, furniture, right? So lumber is wood that is ready to be used. It is wood ready to be used. Okay. Okay, let's see, Hasnick says, I think a tape measure because it is a tool. Tomas says, tape measure because we can measure with, we can measure something. That's right. Marcos, hello. Helga says, a fence because it is not a tool. Air lady, I think the fence because it can protect, prim um, the, the perimeter, that's right. Sewu, I, I think tape measure because we can carry it in our bag, yeah. Or, or tool, tool belt, right? So someone have like a, a belt, right? And so right here, you put the, the tape measure on your belt, that's right. Oh, Marco says, a measuring tape because there is no wood in it. That's right. That's good. That's good. Because, right? So we have a fence is wood. The hammer, that the handle for a hammer is made from wood. And of course, lumber is wood. But a tape measure is not made from wood. There's no wood in a tape measure. Yeah, Fabricio. 
A tape measure because it's not made of wood. Very good. Tomas says, tape measure because it's made from metal or it's made of metal. Lolly, a fence because there isn't an R in it. R. Let's see. Hammer has an R. Lumber has an R. And tape measure. Measure has an R. But fence, there is no R. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's see, Tetsuro, I think te tape measure because it has a scale, good, so, or, it, yeah, or measurements, right, so a scale, so from, yeah, so a scale is like a measurement, like we have a weight scale, if you want to, um, measure your weight I guess we can you can check your weight you can check your height with a scale right so um, a tape measure has a scale it has uh, you know it has um, I'm looking I'm trying to explain what scale is so scale is a measurement but then that's measure tape measure so a scale gives you um, uh, a, 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 uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Scale from one to, right? So if you're, so a tape measure will have a scale from zero to maybe, you know, three feet, or that could be, I don't know, a hundred centimeters, something like that. So, <laughs> so a scale is like even, amounts of measurement, right? So it's an even amount of measurement. Okay. Umesh says, a fence surrounds buildings. Good. Tomas says, a fence because it separates places. Very good. Umesh, a hammer because we can fix nails. Good, good, good. Dang says, a fence because we are not allowed in without permission of the owner. Kayleen, a tape measure because it has numbers. Good answer, Kayleen. Tess Faye says, I think a tape measure because it is not made of wood. It is long. Good, Fabricio. I think the hammer because it can hurt you. It can hurt your fingers. If you don't use it correctly, yeah, don't, don't pound your finger. That would hurt. I've done that before. I've hit my finger using a hammer. I've done that a few times. <laughs> Mary says, a fence because we have to jump over it. <laughs> we can jump over the fence. Okay, good, good. Okay, nice answers, everyone. I'm looking at the clock. I think we should change. Ah, Uma says, lumber, we can burn that. All right. Uh, John says, ouch, that must have hurt. It did, for sure. <laughs> okay. So these were our patterns today. An astronaut, a security guard, a police officer, a soldier. Right? We talked about those four items. Then we just did a fence, a hammer, lumber and a tape measure all right so we're done with this sheet so that means i have to make a new one. Oh no i have to do a new one because we've done all these now we did these so now it's time for me to make a new one for next week so i'm always very busy i'm always very busy because i have to make these things okay let's do our next activity, and that's going to be number three. Activity number three. Number three is problem and solution. Okay, I have two cards. Yep. So I, I need to get two magnets for two cards. 
Okay, here we go. Problem solution. We're going to have two, so I'm going to write one, and I'm going to write two. Okay, here we go. I'm going to give you a problem, and you give me a solution, okay? You're going to fix, you're going to give me advice, yeah? You're going to give me advice. Here is the problem. I don't know how to use a coffee maker. I don't know how to use a coffee maker. Oh, good. Air Lady says, I think lumber because you can use it for many things. Yeah, Air Lady, good answer. She says, I think lumber because you can use it for many things. You can use it for many things. Okay, problem is, I don't know how to use a coffee maker. What is the solution? Fabricio says, read the manual. <laughs> I don't know how to use a coffee maker. Please help me. I don't know how to use a coffee maker. My problem is, I don't know how to use a coffee maker. What is the solution, please? Tamas says, um, ask your wife. <laughs> oh, Lolly says, watch a video on YouTube. That's right. Actually, there's everything is on YouTube, right? Any, if you have any problem, if you don't know how to do something, you can find it on YouTube. That's very, very cool, yeah? Okay, Marcos, you should ask someone for help, or maybe you should look for a tutorial on YouTube. Tetsuro, you can call the support center and ask how to use it, okay. Everyone's saying watch YouTube or read the manual. How about you guys tell me? Okay, I want, I want to, I want to see you write in the chat how to use a coffee maker. So please tell me. Please explain to me. Please tell me. Write in, tell me in sentence form how to use a coffee maker. Tell me in sentence form how to use a coffee maker. Tell me in sentence form, sentence form, tell me in sentence form how to use a coffee maker, please. <laughs> so, Lolly said, give me a call and I will explain to you. Okay. Air Lady says, um, read the directions. Marco says, um, invite me over for a cup of coffee, then I can teach you how. Okay, good idea. Ask it from Wi-Fi. I'm not sure. You can do it. Try it several times. Come on, tell me how to do it. John says, plug it in, then turn it on and let it do the job. <laughs> oh, Dang says, I have no coffee maker, so Dang doesn't know how to use it. Umesh says, I don't know. Helga says, I haven't. Oh, I, I, I don't have one. I use a um, Geyser coffee maker. I'm not sure what a Geyser is, Helga. Air Lady. Mark, the directions come on the side of the box. <laughs> Fabrizio, go to Starbucks. <laughs> Nobody wants to tell me how to use a coffee maker. Okay, Tomas says, you have to pour some water in it and put some, put some grounded coffee beans, then switch it on. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Yes. Okay, I'm going to tell you how to do it, okay? I know how to, actually, this was for your practice. Actually, I know how to do it. I'm gonna tell you how to do it, 
okay? I'm going to I'm going to tell you how to use a coffee maker. Here you go. Are you ready? Okay. Step 1. Um, make sure there is nothing in the pot. Make sure the the pot is clean, okay? So we want to make sure the coffee pot is clean. Here is the coffee pot. Okay, so make sure look undo the top, look inside is it clean? Okay, good. Then you want to, the, the, the top of the coffee maker, there's a lid. Open the lid. Is that clean? Okay, good. Now we have, there's nothing in the pot and there's nothing in the top. Now, step one, you need to get a coffee filter, a paper filter. Okay, put the paper filter in the Top. So it's like a cone. It's a cone shape. So put the paper in the top, the, the cone shape. Now you put coffee grounds in this, right? You put it in the paper cone. So maybe like maybe three scoops, three scoops of coffee. Okay, then close this top. Now there's another opening right here on the side. And this is for water. So open that. <clears throat> and I have a measuring cup, right? And so I fill the measuring cup with water, cold water. And so maybe I do maybe three cups, three cups of water. I, so I put, <laughs> sorry, I put three cups of water in the measuring cup. And then I pour the water right in here. So this fills up with water. Now this is on and off switch. Turn on the switch, turn the switch on, turn the switch, <coughs> turn the switch on, and then it starts percolating. So the, the water starts getting hot and so then the water comes up and then it comes down into the paper filter where the coffee is and then the coffee starts dripping down into the pot and then when all the water is gone and no more coffee is dripping down it is ready to drink <laughs> all right okay good 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 i see some i see some directions in the chat fantastic lolly says Put the, <clears throat> put the powder coffee, one, put in powder coffee, two, add some water in the container, three, plug the coffee machine, plug in, plug in the coffee machine, four, wait until it finishes. Here we go, Lolly. One, put, put the powder coffee in. Or actually we say, not powder, we say grounds, grounded. Put the grounded coffee in. So coffee grounds, grounded. Okay, so put the grounded coffee in the paper filter. Put the grounded coffee in the paper filter. Two, add some water in the container, that's good. Three, plug in the coffee machine. Four, wait until it is finished. It is finished or it's finished. Okay, good, good, good. Say what says, first, all you must be well assembled. Oh, it must be well assembled. Okay, good, Umesh. Pour milk and sugar in and plug it and turn it on before that coffee, grounded coffee. Mary says, I call a friend. <laughs> ah, mocha pot. Okay. I still don't know what a mocha pot is. <laughs> is that like a French press, Helga? I know like a French press. 
I know that type. I don't know the mocha type. Air Lady says, I know you do. <laughs> I, I'm here for you, Air Lady. I want you to do it in English. I want, Air Lady, I want you to, to tell me in English, right? I'm here for you, right? And I want you to practice English. So that's the purpose. Yes, grounded coffee. Good, coffee grounded. Okay. Good job. Jocko says, first add water, next add filter, then add coffee grounds. After that, brew, brew and drink. Yeah, Jocko, brew and drink. Good. <laughs> I'm Air Lady. This, thank you, Air Lady. Mwah. You're very kind to me. Ah, Kayleen says, my advice is buy an espresso machine. That's more complicated. I, now, I can, I can operate. I know how to do a coffee maker, but an express machine, that's much more complicated. And I don't know. I don't know about that. Yeah, I read your sentence, Air Lady. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Let me go back. Just to make sure. Yeah, I read your sentence. Okay. Okay, good. Let's do um let's do number two now. Here we go. Here is problem number two. Problem number two. You're welcome, Air Lady. Here we go. Oh, thank you, Azur. Thank you, Azur. Here we go. Problem number two. I can't stop smoking. I can't stop smoking. Tomas, I make a simple way of coffee. I put some coffee into the mug and pour boiling water in it. Yes, that is called instant coffee, Tomas. <laughs> instant coffee. All right, Julia, thank you. <laughs> Samuel, first... First of all, pour all the coffee as much as you like, then add a cup of water and finally turn on the coffee maker and wait for it to boil. Oh, Lolly says, have chewing gum. Good, good. Not instant coffee. Then you get all the grounds. Then you're like, Tomas, then you're drinking the coffee grounds. Don't drink the coffee grounds. That doesn't taste very good. Okay, I'm getting answers all right. Okay, problem number two. I can't stop smoking. I can't stop smoking. I can't stop smoking. Lolly says, have chewing gum. Tomas says, oh, not, okay. Yeah, Tomas, you have to be careful when you drink that. Tomas, get a coffee, or just get a, 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 a drip. I do that sometimes. I, ha I do that at home a lot. I just put the, the um, actual, just the cone on the cup and just pour the, the water over the grounded coffee. So you just need the, the cone, the plastic. So it, it looks like this. I'm sure you guys know. It's like this. Yeah, and then you you put your your cup here, your coffee cup. There's your coffee cup, and here's your just the plastic cone. You put a paper filter in there like that, and then you put the the coffee in the paper filter, and you pour hot water hot water into it and then it just and then it just drips down All right and that's the easiest that is the easiest just just a cone like a, 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 a just the the paper cone 
pour hot water over the coffee grounds and the coffee drips into the cup and it's very simple it's very simple easy way to make coffee okay I can't stop smoking we got lots of answers here that and we have to go I have to go back in the chat let's see Sebu says get help from a doctor Lolly says do yoga Marco says keep on smoking <laughs> don't stop keep on smoking Helga says don't start smoking in your youth Uma says if you can't stop smoking you will die certainly you will certainly die Air Lady says, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Air Lady. Tomas, um, let's see. Tomas, I learned this way from my Polish friends. Oh, that they just pour the hot water on the coffee, Tomas. Tetsuro, you can go to a clinic to stop smoking. Practice more sports, says Lolly. Ava. Oh, hello, Ava's late. Hello, Ava. Mwah. Good to see Ava. Jocko says, drink more water and juice. Let's see. Uma says, you have to use willpower. Tama. Ah, okay. French. Yeah, like a French press, Tomas. Okay, Julia said, I can't stand people smoking in public places. Me too. Me too, Julia. Fabricio, try to quit smoking with hypnosis. Like, dun, 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 dun. stop smoking. Okay, I, don't, I stop smoking. Samuel, try to take great decide. Don't be tempted day to day. Lolly says, go to a pharmacy, buy some patches to stop smoking. Oh, Jaco, good idea. Jaco says, make non-smoking friends, right? So maybe if you're trying to, to sm stop, but your friends are smoking, that is very, very difficult. But if no one is smoking, then it's easier for you not to smoke. So I like it. I like it. Psychi or psychiatrist says, to get a psychiatrist, Tomas says. Oh, Lolly's going to sing, she's going to sing me a song to, to stop smoking, a non, like a stop smoking song. Okay, good. Mary says, keep on smoking. <laughs> Umesh, there are ads on TV to quit smoking. Lolly's going to sing me a song. Say, look at the lung cancer pictures when you want smoking, when you want to smoke. That's right. So, oh, I want a cigarette. Look at the lung pictures. Ah, that's terrible. I'm not going to smoke. That's actually a good idea, Say, Okay, good idea. Or good, good job, everyone. Lots of good ideas for stop smoking. Yes. Okay, good. All right. So, um... Let's do our next activity. But look at the board is like full now. And we're going to do, next we're going to do a conversation. So I need more space on the whiteboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard. That way it's saved. You could check it out anytime you want to. And then I can erase it for our next activity. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over it. I'm going to get my phone, which has the camera on it. Okay. So I got my phone. I'm going to open the camera. I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard. Then I will upload it to my Facebook group page. So that way you could check it out anytime you want to. So let me step over here. You can't see me, but you can hear me. And I'm going to take a picture. Here we go. Countdown. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I got the picture. Now I'm going to erase it so, so we have space for the conversation that we will practice. Yeah, so let's take these off. 
so we can erase the board. Okay, here we go. Now I can erase it. It's okay because I took a picture, so it is saved. I will put it on my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice, so you can check it out anytime you want to. Okay, so we are now at activity number four. So here we go. Let's put four here. Okay, so we're going to do conversation. I need to, sorry, I need to blow my nose. So I, I have to get some tissue real quick. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll try to be quiet. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Oh, that's much better. I feel much better now. Okay. Let's do our conversation. All right. So the topic is saying goodbye. Saying goodbye. Oh, let me um let me write conversation here so we keep everything in order. Okay, conversation. Okay, um, so the topic is saying goodbye. Let me write that down. Saying goodbye. Okay, so that's the topic. Saying goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Okay, so I'm going to read the conversation. I want you to listen carefully, and then I will write the conversation on the board so you can, um, so we can practice it together, okay? Here we go. Oh, okay, good, Air Lady. I'm happy that you benefit from the whiteboards. I'm happy to hear that. Oh, Julia, good question. Here are the books. You can get these books at Amazon.com. The link is in the descriptions below. So under the video, check out the description. You will see the link. It, these are at Amazon.com. Just put my name, right? Write my name. And then you will find me on Amazon. Okay, here we go. I'm going to read the conversation. I'm going to miss you. I don't want to go. I'm going to be lonely. I'm already sad. Don't go. I have to. <laughs> Here we go. One more time. I'm going to miss you. I don't want to go. I'm going to be lonely. I'm already sad. Don't go. I have to. <laughs> I have to. Okay, one more time. I'm going to miss you. I don't want to go. I'm going to be lonely. I'm already sad. Don't go. I have to. <laughs> okay, I'm going to write the conversation on the board. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Ah, oh, Leonardo, hello. Okay, here we go. I'm writing the conversation on the board so we can practice together. Okay, so A is first. A says, I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you. B says, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. A says, I'm going to be lonely. I'm going to be lonely. Okay. And B says, I'm already sad. I'm 
already said. A says, don't go. Don't go. And then B says, I have to. Okay, there's the conversation. Now I'm, I'm going to show you the picture. Okay, so there's the picture. So they're, they're, they're separating, saying goodbye. So they're saying goodbye. And, and so A said, oh, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. And then B says, I don't want to go. So, so maybe B is leaving, right? B is going somewhere. And then um, A says, I'm going to be lonely because you are leaving, so I'm going to be lonely. That means I'm going to miss you. I'm going to be lonely. I'm going to miss you. And then B says, I'm already sad. So they're, they're still together, but a, B is already sad. Like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm, even though we're, we haven't left, I'm sad, right? Because just thinking soon, um, B is leaving, right? So I'm already sad. A says, don't go. And then B says, I have to. Like maybe it, it's for work, it's a business trip, or going to school. Some reason where A has to leave, right? So there's no choice. So A, or no, I mean B must go. So I have to. I must go be for work. I must go because of school. I must go because it's time, right? Okay, so let's... Lolly says, A is in love with B. I think so too. <laughs> okay, now... Ah, uh, say we, This reminds her of a movie. Okay, good. Now, let, let's practice this together. Okay, first, we will practice... Um, pronunciation and speed. Then we will role play, okay? So first, let's practice speed. We'll go slow and quickly, and we will also practice pronunciation, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna miss you. 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 I don't wanna go. I don't wanna go. I don't wanna go. Wanna, wanna, wanna. I don't wanna go. I don't wanna go. I'm going to be lonely. 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 Lonely. I'm going to be lonely. I'm already sad. 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 Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. I have to. I have to. I have to. I have to. Okay. <laughs> Say was so sad. Okay. Now, let's role play. All right. I will be A. You will be B. A, B, A, B. Okay. So, I'm going to say A and you're going to say B. Okay. Here we go. Countdown to role play. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna miss you. I'm going to be lonely. Don't go. <laughs> no. Don't go. No, 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 no. Okay, here we go. Second time. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna miss you. 
I'm going to be lonely. Don't go. <laughs> no, don't go. Please, 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 please don't go. Don't go. Okay. Third time is a charm. Here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to be lonely. Don't go. No, 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 no. Don't go, don't go, don't go. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Now let's switch, okay? You are A, I'm B, A, B, A, B. Let's count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. I don't want to go. I'm already sad. Oh, I have to. Bye. I have to go. Bye. I have to. I have to. Bye. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Helga, thank you. Mwah. Thank you so much, Helga. Okay, here we go. Second time. You are A. I am B. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one, go. I don't want to go. I'm already sad. I have to. I have to. Bye. I have to go. Bye. I have to go. Bye. 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 <laughs> okay. Let's do it. <laughs> the third time is a charm. Yes, it is. You are A. I am B. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. I don't want to go. I'm already sad. I have to. Bye. I have to. No choice. Bye. I have to. <laughs> okay. Don't leave me. Yes. Yes. Good. Good. Okay. That was our sentence. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's do activity five. Yes. Activity five. Here is five. And that's not a very good five, is it? I can do better. I can do better. Okay, so five is dictation and our topic today is no doubt. No doubt. Okay, no doubt, and that means it is likely, yes. Very likely, it's very likely. It's very likely. Okay, and these are the members' sentences, yeah? So the green team, the members of the channel, it's their sentences, all right? So on Fridays, the members, write the sentences. Yeah, they do it on Fridays. Okay, so we're going to do four steps. Or no, we'll do three steps because they're a little long. Okay, so we're going to do dictation practice, of course. Then we're going to shadow. And then we'll have a quiz. So those will be the, the, the three steps today. Okay, good. So we're going to do dictation practice. You're going to listen and write. We're going to shadow. That means you're going to listen and speak, speaking practice. And then you will have a quiz. All right. And um, before we do the dictation cards, there is a um, poll at the top of the chat that has this topic. So let's look at the poll at the top of the chat, the green or the blue box. And I want you to finish the sentence. Finish the sentence. And 108 people voted. Thank you. Mwah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. So the sentence is, I feel no doubt about. I feel no doubt about. Right? So the four choices to finish the sentence. I feel no doubt about. I will have a healthy life. Two. I feel no doubt about finding true love. 
third choice, I feel no doubt about I will improve my English skills. And the fourth choice, I feel no doubt about my happiness. Okay, so I'm going to read it one more time. I feel no doubt about I will have a healthy life. I feel no doubt about finding true love. I feel no doubt about I will improve my English skills. I feel no doubt about my happiness. Okay, so those are the four choices. And the number one choice was 40% was I feel no doubt about I will improve my English skills. Yay! <laughs> All right. You are here to improve your English skills. Yay! Okay. Choice number two, most second most popular. I feel no doubt about I will have a healthy life. Yay! Fantastic. That, that's great to hear. I'm very, very happy everyone feels that they're going to have a healthy life. That's great. Okay, our third choice was, I feel no doubt about finding true love. Oh, that is very nice, very nice, yay. Okay, then our fourth choice, 17%. I feel no doubt about my happiness. Okay, <laughs> I wish that was up a little bit higher, but actually, um, that's kind of the same thing. I I have no doubt about I will have a healthy life. If you're healthy, then you're happy, right? So they kind of go hand in hand, right? So happiness and health go hand in hand. So um, that, that, that's good, that's good. Umesh says, I will have a healthy life. Good, 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 good. Tetsuo, I feel no doubt about. I feel no doubt about. Maria, thank you. I won't leave. I'm not going to leave, Maria. Don't worry. <laughs> mm. Sebu has no doubt about finding true love. All right, Sebu. I'm, I have no doubt either that you will f find true love. So I have no doubt you will find true love, Sebu. Okay, here we go. Dictation time. And our topic, no doubt. Okay. Hello, Bangladesh. Okay, today we have, here we go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 11 cards today, everyone. 11 cards. Woohoo! Now, Oh, Lolly, you are too kind. Lolly, thank you so much. Lolly always has nice things to say. Air Lady, thank you so much. Air Lady, very, very kind. Thank you. Okay, our cards are from, our sentences are, are from. Here, Larissa, Sonara, Lolly, Ava. Fabricio, Marion, Miley, Monk, Fran, Sewu, and Tomas. Those are our members who wrote sentences. All right, so I'm going to mix them up. There are some long sentences and some short sentences. So we have a variety of sentences because we have a variety of people. So that makes sense, right? When you have a variety of people, you have a variety of responses. You have a variety of ideas, right? That's why it's good to um, be with many different people because there are a variety of ideas. And that's what's great about our chat. We have people from all over the world. So there are many different kinds of ideas from many different people, so that's fantastic. Okay, Lolly, stop shuffling. And Lolly, thank you so much. Mwah. Oh, Air Lady says, I feel no doubt about my happiness. Fantastic. Okay, here we go. Dictation time. 
you need a pencil and you need paper. Yeah, because it's time for you to listen and write what I say. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. It is dictation time. It is time for you to listen and write. Here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Sentence number one. No doubt winter will arrive soon. Good, Ava. Lolly has pencil and paper ready. Fantastic. And I'm going to read each sentence three times. No doubt winter will arrive soon. No doubt, winter will arrive soon. Card number two. No doubt, what more pleasant task than tasting ice cream and gelato? No doubt. What more pleasant task than tasting ice cream and gelato? No doubt. What more pleasant task than tasting ice cream and gelato? Number three, lack of sleep, no doubt, weakens our immunity. Lack of sleep. No doubt weakens our immunity. Lack of sleep, no doubt, weakens our immunity. Okay, card number four. No doubt, I will be on Mark's live stream on Friday. No doubt, I will be on Mark's live stream on Friday. No doubt, I will be on Mark's live stream on Friday. Number five. We will no doubt discuss the difference between ice cream and gelato at the next meeting. We will, no doubt, discuss the difference between ice cream and gelato at the next meeting. We will no doubt, discuss the difference between ice cream and gelato at the next meeting.
number six. No doubt, Brad Pitt is a good actor. I just don't like him. No doubt, Brad Pitt is a good actor. I just don't like him. No doubt, Brad Pitt is a good actor. I just don't like him. Okay, number seven. No doubt, my sister is my best friend. No doubt, my sister is my best friend. No doubt, my sister is my best friend. Okay, here we go, number eight. No, yeah, eight, here we go, number eight. No doubt, you will improve in English if you practice every day. No doubt, you will improve in English if you practice every day. No doubt, you will improve in English if you practice every day. Okay, here we go. Number nine. Pretty sure nine. Yeah, number nine. No doubt you like hot coffee. No doubt you like hot coffee. No doubt you like hot coffee. Okay, number ten. No doubt, Marinas, Marinas, Marianas, sorry, Marianas. Okay, here we go, sorry, one more time. No doubt, the Marianas Trench is deep. No doubt, the Marianas Trench is deep. No doubt, the Marianas Trench is deep. Yeah, Marianas. It's a place. Marianas Trench is a place. Okay, here we go. Number 11. Last card. No, 13, we have like 13, 11, 11, I think 11, <laughs> I forgot, I think it's 11. Okay, here we go, last card. No doubt, many people lost their job in the pandemic. No doubt, many people lost their job in the pandemic. No doubt, many people lost their job in the pandemic. 
Okay, that was a lot, everybody. You did it. Well done. Let's check it off because you did it. Yes, you did. Okay, good, good, good. Now it's time to shadow. Okay, first I want to, um, I need to check something real quick. Hold on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I need to, I need to check. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to check. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, sorry. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Step number two, shadow time countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. So this is speaking practice now, okay? So not writing practice, but speaking practice. Here we go. This is practice for your speaking skills. Okay, here we go. No doubt winter will arrive soon. No doubt winter will arrive soon. No doubt winter will arrive soon. This is Tomas. No doubt, winter will arrive soon. Yeah, so it is very likely, right? It is very likely winter is arriving soon. Yes, I think so. <laughs> yes, because now I'm wearing long sleeves, right? Before you saw me have short sleeves because it was warm. Now winter is arriving, so it's cooling down. The temperature is cooling down. Okay. Card number two, count down, five, four, three, two, one. No doubt, what more pleasant task than tasting ice cream and gelato? No doubt, what more pleasant task than tasting ice cream and gelato? No doubt, what more pleasant task than tasting ice cream and gelato. This is Miley. This is her sentence. No doubt what more pleasant task than tasting ice cream and gelato. Yep. That is, that's a fun task to do, right? Compare ice cream with gelato. Yeah. That sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, number three. Lack of sleep, no doubt, weakens our immunity. Lack of sleep, no doubt, weakens our immunity. Lack of sleep, no doubt, weakens our immunity. This is Larissa. Lack of sleep, no doubt, weakens our immunity. Yep, so our immunity uh, gives us, you know, power to, to block away like um, colds and flus. So our immunity system is very important to stop those. And so when you don't sleep, your immunity system kind of weakens, right? It gets weaker. So then if you don't sleep well, then you're more likely to catch a cold. You're more likely to catch a flu, something, and be sick. So we need to keep our immunity um, system healthy and strong. Yes. Okay. Number four. No doubt I will be on Mark's live stream on Friday. No doubt I will be on Mark's live stream on Friday. No doubt I will be on Mark's live stream on Friday. This is Ava's sentence. 
No doubt I will be on Mark's live stream on Friday. And Ava is here. So that happened, right? It happened. So thank you very much, Ava. Ava is here. She's here today, right now, on our live stream. Yes. Okay, number five. We will no doubt discuss the difference between ice cream and gelato at the next meeting. We will no doubt discuss the difference between ice cream and gelato at the next meeting. We will no doubt discuss the difference between ice cream and gelato at the next meeting. Okay, this is Fabricio sentence. That's a long one. We will no doubt discuss the difference between ice cream and gelato at the next meeting. Oh, lots of lots of contemplation, lots of discussion happening. What's the difference between ice cream and gelato? Well, ice cream has more calories. Oh, gelato has more flavors, right? And so we can talk a lot about it. Yeah, Air Lady says, sleep is very important, for sure, for sure. <laughs> and Ava says, that's true, that's true, Fabricio. Number six, no doubt Brad Pitt is a good actor. I just don't like him. No doubt Brad Pitt is a good actor. I just don't like him. No doubt. Brad Pitt is a good actor. I just don't like him. This is Lolly's sentence. <laughs> no doubt Brad Pitt is a good actor. I just don't like him. Oh, we have the debate. Ice cream gelato debate. A-line likes gelato. <laughs> okay, good, Lolly. Okay, here we go. Number seven. No doubt, my sister is my best friend. 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 No this is Fran, and that's, that's wonderful, Fran. That's wonderful. Lolly, gelato is tastier than ice cream. Well, we have a big debate happening. We have, there's trouble brewing in the chat. What's the, what, which is better, gelato or, or ice cream? Oh no, we have trouble in the chat. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Next card. No doubt you will improve in English if you practice every day. No doubt you will improve in English if you practice every day. No doubt you will improve in English if you practice every day. This is Marion. No, Monk, I'm sorry, this is Monk's card, Monk, I'm sorry. This is Monk's card, and Monk wrote, No doubt you will improve in English if you practice every day. That is for sure. You can ask Lolly. Lolly practices every day, and you can see how well Lolly speaks English, right? So Monk is 100% is True. This is a hundred percent true. Yes, it is. Okay, next card. No doubt you like hot coffee. <laughs> no doubt you like hot coffee. No doubt you like hot coffee. This is Sewu. No doubt you like hot coffee. Yes, that is a hundred percent true, Sewu. There is no doubt I love hot coffee. There is no doubt. There is no doubt. 
Okay, here we go. Next card. No doubt the Moranis Trench is deep. No doubt the Moranis Trench is deep. No doubt the Moranis Trench is deep. This is Marion. No doubt the Moranis Trench is deep. Now, a trench is kind of like a, a, a deep hole, or not a hole, but it's a long, kind of like a valley, and it's under the sea. It's in the seabed, and it's the deepest trench, I think, one of the deepest, and it's um, located like next to Guam, which is kind of in between Hawaii and Japan. And so it's a very long, deep trench, the Moranis Trench. So it's no doubt it is deep. There is no doubt because they measured it. They know how deep it is, and it's very, very deep. Okay, here we go. Last card. Ah, the deepest place in Earth. There we go, Tomas knows. That is the deepest place in the earth. Very good, Tomas. Here we go. Last card. No doubt many people lost their job in the pandemic. No doubt many people lost their job in the pandemic. No doubt many people lost their job in the pandemic. This is Sonara. Her sentence, no doubt, many people lost their job in the pandemic. Yeah, so we, we have been going through tough times, everyone. This is many people lost their jobs. Many people died. Many people are still sick. Yeah, so um, it's not over. It's getting better, I think. I think the pandemic is getting better. But it's not over. We still have to be careful. We still have to wear masks in public, right? If you're inside, please wear a mask. If you're like inside a public space, like a supermarket or shopping mall, please wear a mask for your protection and for the other people's protection. So we still have to be careful. And lots of people have suffered a lot. So. Mm. Bad, bad, bad stuff. Bad, bad. It's a bad flu. Yeah. Oh, Samuel has a question. Instead of no doubt, can we say undoubtedly? Yeah. Yep. Undoubtedly. Yep. You can do that as well. That's right, Samuel. Good. But I, I think no doubt is maybe a little more common. It's, it's more common, I think. I think we use no doubt more than undoubtedly. But undoubtedly, you know, that's an adverb there. And, um, you know, you could say, undoubtedly, he drives well. You know, or you could say, there is no doubt he drives well. So, okay. So either way is okay. But I think no doubt is a little more natural and used a little more often. Okay, Samuel. But good question, Samuel. Okay, good. That was shadowing. So we did one, two steps. Now it's time for the quiz. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to shuffle the cards. And I'm going to cover the sentence. So do you remember the sentence? So I want you to look at the picture and tell me what the sentence is. And I think today, because we only did these three, we're going to do four cards today. Okay, so usually... We do three cards for the quiz, but today we will do four cards, okay? So we will do four cards for the quiz. Four cards for the quiz. Okay, here we go. I'm shuffling the cards, so we don't know what the first card is. We don't know what the second card is. We don't know what the third card is. We don't know what the fourth card is. That's right, Air Lady. Very sad. Air Lady said, um, many people lost their job. It was very sad. 
Very, very sad. Okay, I stopped shuffling. Here we go. Here's the first card, and I'm going to take this card right here, and I'm going to cover the sentence. Okay, here we go. Please write the sentence in the chat. And our first sentence is from Fran. And do you remember this sentence? Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat, please. This is Fran's sentence. Ah, Marion is on the board. No doubt, my sister is my best friend. Ava, no doubt, my sister is my best friend. Helga, no doubt, my sister is my best friend. Kayleen, no doubt, my sister is my best friend. Fabricio, no doubt, my sister is my best friend. Lolly, Tomas, yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's have a look. No doubt, my sister is my best friend. Okay, very good. All right, card number two. Here we go. What is the sentence? This is Sewu. This is Sewu. Okay, Sewu. Write the sentence. Or <laughs> not Sewu, everybody. Everybody. This is Sewu's sentence. Write the sentence. Write what Seiru wrote in the chat. Write what Seiru wrote in the chat. Se <laughs> Write what Seiru wrote in the chat. Okay, Fabricio, no doubt you like hot coffee. Seiru, no doubt you like hot coffee. Eva, no doubt you like hot coffee. Marion. Ha <laughs> ha, I like that, Samuel. Undoubtedly, you are one of a kind. I like that sentence, Samuel. Tomas, yes. Kadeen, yes. Let's see, Tetsuro, yes, Umesh, yes. No doubt the coffee here in Brazil is the best. I believe that. Brazilian coffee is famous. Okay. Here, Lolly, no doubt you like hot coffee. Let's check Sewu's sentence. No doubt you like hot coffee. Yes, that is true, Sewu. Very good. Here we go. Card number three. Oh boy. Oh boy, everybody. Good luck. This is Fabricio's card. Good luck, everyone. You can see it's a small picture. <laughs> it, it's, the picture is small and the, the, the writing is... <laughs> You can see the difference, right? Here's the text. Here's the picture. Text, picture. Text, picture. Good luck, everyone. This is Fabricio's sentence. Write the sentence. <laughs> yes. Right. That's right, Tomas. It's the longest one. Good luck. Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence. <laughs> Katie. It's okay, Katie, no problem. Okay, Marion, we will no doubt discuss the difference between ice cream and gelato at the next meeting. All right, Fabrizio, we will no doubt discuss the difference between ice cream and gelato at the next meeting. Ah ha ha, Ava says, Th this sentence is about ice cream and gelato. Mwah, that's true. Ava, that is very true. That is correct, Ava. You are correct again, Ava. That is true. Th there, that's, that is not a lie. That is not a lie. 
Okay, Helga says, we will no doubt discuss the difference between ice cream and gelato at the next meeting. Okay, now Tomas, he looked at the picture and described the picture. They discussed the difference between gelato and ice cream. Good. Or actually, if you're, Tomas, if you're looking at the picture, you want to put it in the um, progressive. So you want to say, they are discussing. They are discussing. They are, okay, so Tomas, they are discussing the difference between gelato and ice cream. <laughs> oh, Fabrizio says, sorry. But you know what, that's okay because challenges are good, right? We don't want just, if it's all just short and easy, then it's not much of a challenge, right? <clears throat> so it, it's good to have a mix, right? It's good to have a mix. It's good to have some short sense. Oh, I can't talk. It's good to have a mix of short sentences and long sentences. So it, it's good for us. It's good for our practice to have short sentences and long sentences, right? So um, don't apologize, Fabricio. Don't apologize because it's good for everybody's learning. It's good for all of our learning. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, good, Tomas. They are discussing the difference between gelato and ice cream. Yes. Okay, here's Fabricio's sentence. We will no doubt discuss the difference between ice cream and gelato at the next meeting. Actually, it's not really that, if we, it's a long sentence, but it's really not difficult. We just have to take it in chunks, right? So if we look at the sentence in chunks, it's really not that difficult. So let's look at this in chunks, in parts, okay? Let's look at this in parts, okay? We will, right? So this will happen. We will, no doubt, we will no doubt, we will no doubt. So for sure, it will, it's very likely, we will no doubt discuss the difference, discuss the difference, discuss the difference, discuss the difference between ice cream and gelato, 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 at the next meeting, at the next meeting, at the next meeting. Okay, so we put it all together. We will, no doubt, discuss the difference between ice cream and gelato at the next meeting. Yeah? So it, it's really not, it's just long, right? And so it, it's difficult because you're just listening and writing or listening and speaking. So it's long and that part's difficult, but th the sentence itself, the concept, it's, it's, not, you, it's not too difficult for you, right? So we will no doubt discuss the difference between ice cream and gelato at the next meeting. Yeah, so we just have to just take it in chunks or in parts. Okay, one more. Yeah, here we go. Oh boy, it's another long one. <laughs> See, we had, we had two short ones and one long, now we have another long one. So two short ones and two long ones. So that's good for our practice. Okay, here we go. Number four is Miley. This is her sentence. Do you remember Miley's sentence? Oh, that's interesting. Um, Zen, oh, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Zenden. We will no doubt discuss the difference between stay at home or go to travel at the next. 
Um, at the next day, we, we wouldn't say at the next day. We would say um, between stay at home or go to travel the next day. So we don't have to have that. You can just say the next day. Okay, let's see. All right, so Helga is on the board. No doubt, more ple pleasant tasks than tasting ice cream and gelato. No doubt, what more pleasant task than tasting ice cream and gelato? Yeah, Ava. You getting hungry for ice cream and gelato, Ava? Last time, we talked about licorice. <laughs> <laughs> and today, we're talking about gelato and ice cream. Remember, we talked about our last, I think it was Tuesday, we did, we talked about licorice. Now we're talking about ice cream and gelato, Ava. Okay, Fabricio, no doubt, what more pleasant task than tasting ice cream and gelato? Yeah. Yeah, Helga, what? Yeah. Tomas. Yeah, that's a good task. So Tomas says, good task to discuss the difference between gelato and ice cream. I agree, Tomas. I agree. Lolly says, no doubt what more pleasant task than tasting ice cream and gelato. Very good. Umesh, no doubt what more pleasant task than tasting ice cream and gelato. Gelato and ice cream is better than licorice, <laughs> says Ava. So, okay, good. Okay, let's check out the, the sentence. No doubt, what more pleasant task than tasting ice cream and gelato? Yeah, so that, that, that's a fun task, right? A task is um, like uh, an activity, something to do, right? You have, you have something to do. And a task is like, you know, someone tells you to do it, right? So um, maybe at work, you have a task at work, you have to do certain things. Um, at school, your teacher might give you a task, right? At home, your wife has a task for you to do, or maybe your husband has a task for you to do. So um, a task is something to do, you're told to do it, right? And so if Okay, this is your task. Are you ready? So today is Friday. Tomorrow, I'll be back tomorrow on Saturday. So your task is to do this. Okay, so your task for today is to taste the difference between gelato and ice cream and tell me about it tomorrow. Okay, so we did the quiz. Now you have a task. Okay, your task. Whoops. I have a task for you. Okay, your task. Your task is to taste the difference between gelato and ice cream whoops between ice cream so your task to taste the difference between gelato and ice cream and report to me tomorrow and report to me tomorrow. Okay? You're going to come back tomorrow and in the chat, tell me the difference, right? Tell me the, the difference between gelato and ice cream, okay? So I want you to, um, I want you to, t even though you've had ice cream before, you've had gelato before, I want this to be 
fresh in your mind. Maybe you didn't, you had only gelato. Another time you had only ice cream. But I want you to do it together. Okay, so you have ice cream here, gelato here, right? So you have both together. Now you're gonna like go, mm, 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 ice cream. I, this ice cream tastes, and then write down some, um, write down what it tastes like to you, and then have gelato. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, this tastes like this. Okay, so that's what I want you to do for tomorrow. And then tomorrow, I want you to report to me in the chat the difference between gelato and ice cream. How did gelato taste? How did ice cream taste, all right? <laughs> Ava, I don't have any ice cream and gelato. I have to buy both. <laughs> oh, yes, you have to. No, if you want, of course, you don't have to, right? Um, but um, it might be fun and um, it, it could be interesting. Yeah, it could be interesting. So um, if you can, do it. If you can't, you know. That's fine, yeah. I won't have time. I can't do it because I won't have time, but um, I want to see your answers. I wanna see yours, okay? Good, 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 good. Okay, yeah, Sewu, gelato is from Italy, that's right. It, gelato is Italian ice cream. Oh, Lolly, no doubt gelato is better than ice cream. Well, let, let's do the taste test, Lolly. Get both and do it together, and then you know for sure, right, Lolly? Then you will know sure, for sure. Do it together. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, that's right. Sewu says, I'm on a diet. Oops, I can't eat ice cream anymore, but I will try it. <laughs> oh, don't. Well, okay, how about that frozen yogurt? Let's do, if you can, do three. How about that? Let, let's, let's try three. So, the three. What are the differences? So, we have gelato. ice cream and frozen yogurt. And Sebu, frozen yogurt, I don't think it's high calories. So Sebu, I think you can eat frozen yogurt. I think it's low calorie. But anyways, there's three types. Yeah, there's three types. We got gelato, we got ice cream, and we got frozen yogurt. So if you want to do all three taste tests, that would be great. That would be fun. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to take a picture. Oh, Ava, frozen yogurt. I don't know it. Wow. Yeah, there's frozen yogurt. It, it's, it's like, it's yogurt. It's frozen yogurt. That's what it is. So it, it's like ice cream, but it's yogurt. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so you can you can you can have frozen yogurt, Sewu. I think that's low calorie. Okay, I'm going to. Well, he says I don't like it because it's low calorie, right? Okay, I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard. Okay, I'm going to step by step behind the camera. You can't see me, but I will take a picture here. Here we go. Countdown: four, three, two, one. Okay, I got the picture, and I will upload it to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice, so you can check it out anytime you want to. We did it, everyone. Five activities, and it's been two hours. So thank you so much for being here with me. You guys are number one. Thank you, green team. Yes, the green team, Tomas. Lolly, Ava, Sewu, uh, Air Lady, Marion, we have uh, Fabricio, thank you, Ava, thank you, yes, yes, Tetsuro, thank you, Marion, 
Thank you. I'm looking back at the chat. Okay, yeah. So, um, you guys, the supporters, I really appreciate it so much. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, yes. Air Lady, I love gelato, but so many calories. So, I just, so I eat just a tablespoon. Spoon. Yes, just have a little bit. That's right. Have a little bit. Have a nice autumn time. Thank you, Ava. You too. Thank you so much. Marion, thank you. Have a good weekend. Kadeen, thank you. Helga, thank you. Um, Aileen, thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Mwah. Happy Friday. Thank you. Yeah, today's Friday and I'm happy. <laughs> All right. Uh, Pre-man, thank you so much. Thank you. So Okay, cute. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I will be back here tomorrow, everyone. Tomorrow, Saturday at 10 a.m. This time tomorrow, that will be November 6 already. November 6. I will be here. Please come back tomorrow for the grammar wheel. We will do a grammar wheel. We will practice um, making sentences tomorrow. Yes. We will be making lots and lots of sentences tomorrow, so please come back tomorrow. Okay, well, um, it's Friday. I'll be back tomorrow, but if you can't join me tomorrow, have a great weekend, stay safe, um, smile, and um, stay healthy, yeah. And if you can, do the taste test and tell me about it tomorrow, if you can. Do the taste test and tell me about it tomorrow. Okay, good. All right, let's count down to saying goodbye, shall we? Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, thanks so much, and I will see you tomorrow. Take it easy. Bye.